Welcome to Tech Brothers with Dame. In this video, we are going to learn how to create table by using MySQL Workbench graphical user interface. So, so let's go ahead and take a look. Here, what I have, I have a definition of a table that I would like to create. I would like to create a table called customer with column first name that should be string data type. Okay, that the max size of that string can be 50 characters. Then I would like to have another column called last name that's going to be string data type as well. And maximum length, I would like to have a 30 then I would like to have a column called age and that can be integer type then would like to save a phone number that would be 11 character in length date of birth that would be date and then a gender that will be like single character male or female okay so this is a, a basic uh, uh, you can say study or research I have done before even creating a table uh, what data types I need what names of uh, the columns should be so all those things I have uh, written in uh, advance so this is exactly you are gonna do before even you will go and create a table you will do research on some previous data or on uh, think about a future data types so uh, and the uh, come up with the names of the columns and the, the data types all right so what we will do here we have a one multiple databases here I have a, a tech brothers a tech brothers dollar sign brothers and there are different databases or schemas present here one of them is called the tech brothers that's where I would like to create the table so I'm gonna go under the schemas here go to the database or schema go to the tables right click here create table now the very first thing it is going to ask me okay what is the name of the table so I'm gonna provide the customer okay good next part of what we have what we will do we will provide the column and names here you will double click and it will automatically create one column for you it is taking that name of the table and then adding ID to it it is telling okay this is going to be the primary key and this is going to be not null okay that's good actually because we would like to create this column so we can use this column maybe in the foreign key relationship tomorrow if you have another table called orders you would like to add this column as a foreign key with that one also one of the thing I would like to add from here is the auto add uh, increment um, so this is a going to be number right integer so I would like to say okay if uh, um, I don't have to put the value there if the value is one um, the next value should be two and three and four and whatever so it should be auto increment um, we will talk about auto increment in different video how exactly work in the uh, MySQL or MariaDB now next step is uh, we will take uh, the second column first name I'm going to type this one so I don't really recommend uh, space between the column names uh, but if you want to you can have it but uh, uh, in our case uh, I'm not going to have uh, the space between the column names uh, okay so that we would like to have a uh, 50 let's uh, provide 50 and uh, okay as uh, this is the first name would you like to have a row in a table that there is no first uh, name provided uh, I would not uh, recommend that because we, we are same in the data according to the first name and last name and uh, if the customer doesn't have the first name doesn't really make any sense uh, so I put that not null okay that means you have to have provide some values in the first name column the next column is the last name this is going to be worker 30 so I can just change to 30 here and next we have age phone number and date of birth so let's do age and age right here and this is going to be integer so click on this one type I and T so right here so you got the integer there and integer means number right and uh, then you have a phone number so let's do phone number here number and this is going to be 11 characters it is my choice I can leave a war car 11 or I can do char 11 because uh, this is going to be fixed so every time we will be providing minimum 11 characters so nine characters for your the phone number and then dash or uh, hyphens between them to separate the uh, area code and all that so 11 characters that's what I would like to have next is the date of birth so I'm gonna go ahead and say date of birth here and uh, this is going to be data so you can uh, click here and then type date so find the date right here okay where uh, we have date time here but uh, we just need the data so we will select the data all right and the last thing is the gender is going to be single character as well so we will say gender 
and uh, this can be worker one or char one doesn't really matter because you have to have some value in that one so I'm gonna go with char one okay not null as well I would like to uh, like the um, value in this uh, column uh, always so I don't want this uh, one left uh, blank or null okay this is all good here uh, now I didn't uh, talk about the character set and coalition uh, so if you want to uh, set something different you can do as per table but in my case uh, whatever the coalition of the database that's what the coalition of this uh, table is going to be okay next part uh, what I'm gonna do I'm gonna hit apply and once I hit apply it's gonna generate the create definition so create table tech brothers that's my schema and then uh, you have table name uh, parenthesis started and then you have ID integer not null auto increment uh, as we have selected auto increment that's why okay first name last name age phone number date of birth and gender and finally we have a, a primary key on the ID customer remember we have selected right here we want to have the uh, primary key on the ID customer column great so what I will do as a developer I will copy this uh, information or script and then save it uh, maybe in the production uh, I do not have tech brothers uh, schema there could be maybe something different so I will just make some small modification and provide to DBS run in production but before I run in uh, uh, give to the DBA create a ticket and all that I will just make a copy and run it here in my development machine okay I'm gonna go ahead and execute finish okay so go back to the your uh, database or schema and here is your um, table ready customer table is all set you can see the data types and everything right here if you would like to see let's say you are not uh, um, using MySQL workbench and you would like to see the definition after creating that um, uh, table in the workbench or later on anytime you can say describe a table name so in this case it's going to be customer if I will say so and I just run this query what happened I will see all the definition what we have defined you know for the table uh, columns so you can have different fields here so you have field type null and all keys and default values and extras all right so this uh, really help uh, if you have workbench fine otherwise uh, we have done a video where you use the create table statement uh, uh, and uh, create the table from uh, uh, by using create uh, table statement uh, but if you have a workbench it makes a little bit of life easy it is you know most of the time as a developer we do use uh, these uh, different tools such as hide sql or mysql workbench uh, so thanks very much for watching and in the next video we are going to talk about the uh, auto increment